हे गाइस वेलकम टू पिनेकल पीजी राइट सो द सेशंस नेम इटसेल्फ टेल्स यू दैट दिस वीडियो इज फॉर नीट पीजी एस्पिरेंट्स एंड आई वुड आल्सो लाइक यू टू वेलकम टू लेट्स क्रैक नीट पीजी व्हिच इज द YouTube चैनल फॉर अन एकेडमी वेयर वी विल हेल्प यू गाइस प्रिपेयर फॉर ऑल योर एंट्रेंस एग्जामिनेशंस इंक्लूडिंग नीट पीजी आईएनआईसीईटी एफएमजी एंड इवन योर एमबीबीएस university examinations so this session what is the conceptualization is that if you had a look at the previous neat pg questions okay i had a look at 2021 and i realized that there are some very specific points jahan se examiner ko question puchna bahut pasand hai and they stay the same throughout the years okay so i have you know accumulated a list of the most important points in anatomy and i'm going to present them to you in this series so that is why this is called as pinnacle neat pg so i think let's begin with today's session before that my name is chatanya mittal i am currently pursuing my mbbs from aims new delhi and i also teach live on an academy for neat pg as well as neat ug and you guys can follow me there if you guys haven't already downloaded it please go ahead and download the an academy learning app and you can use my referral code spcm or chatanya 10 to unlock the free plan on an academy and you can access lots of free live classes and free live quizzes on an academy besides that you can also follow us on telegram to get regular updates about the sessions and the subscriptions and the latest offers and while taking any subscription you guys can use my plus referral code chatanya ten so don't forget to download the an academy learning application right let's begin with today's session so hey guys welcome to the next session of pinnacle pg where we are doing the most important uh, you know segments from head and neck so in the first segment of this video we had covered part 1 and part 2 so first we had covered the sensory supply of the external auditory meatus first we covered the sensory supply of the external auditory meatus in the second topic what we covered was second topic what we covered was the relations of the scalenus anterior especially the anterior relations in this session of the video we are going to cover some more topics similar to it okay so let's begin with the third very important topic so the third one so since we talked about the phrenic nerve as a anterior relation you know uh, when we were talking about the scalenus anterior and its relations so the next topic that we are going to talk about is the tonsillar fossa okay or the tonsillar sinus now tonsillar fossa it is a space that is present you know of course uh, adjacent to the tonsils so there is a nerve that is present there and the relation is important to know and you will understand why when you are studying surgery but for now i just want you to know this point that what is the nerve that lies in the tonsillar fossa nerve that lies in posterior tonsillar fossa what is the name of that nerve what is the name of this nerve glossopharyngeal nerve okay the name of the nerve is glossopharyngeal nerve okay understood any doubt about this particular point so glossopharyngeal nerve what is the muscle that it supplies what is the muscle that it supplies stylopharynges okay now what is the important of what is the importance of this point that i am telling you okay what is the importance of this point that i am telling you okay you all know that tonsils they can get inflamed tonsils they can get inflamed and if the tonsils are inflamed if the tonsils are inflamed what will happen you will have to remove them you will have to remove them okay have to remove them so because of that because of that there is something that has to be done when you are removing it you have to make sure that you are saving the glossopharyngeal nerve the reason is that it is in the tonsillar fossa it is in the posterior tonsillar fossa so just try to imagine that you are operating you are operating okay and you know well when you are doing surgery sometimes you use heat there to remove something to ligate something and you can have a lot of things that you do in surgery but you do not want to damage your cranial nerve okay and if you remember gag reflex is one of the important reflexes jiska efferent isse aata hai glossopharyngeal nerve se so tonsillectomy it is one of a very common procedure ent mein padhoge it's one of the very common procedure 
okay although glossopharyngeal nerve it's a rare condition but if it happens you will have significant significant problems in the patient okay so what will happen is that you might be given a history that there is a let's say there's a female patient let's say her age is 47 year old post op from a tonsillectomy post op from a tonsillectomy okay and what can be the you know presenting clinical features what can be the presenting clinical features so you can have numbness of the palate sensory loss numbness of the palate then patient is having lack of gag reflex so maybe difficulty in swallowing so that is called as dysgeusia right that can be there and uh, then there is dryness of the mouth xerostomia then you know the tongue is supplied the tongue is supplied so tongue numbness right that can be there the tongue there are some taste buds that are supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve okay so those are the feelings that you can have those are the feelings that you can have the palate movements will be abnormal so you can have snoring okay so the reason is that that glossopharyngeal nerve it can get damaged okay so you have to be careful about that was the significance of this particular and this is a sort of a clinical history that you might get in a question where you are expected to know this particular point is that fine okay so moving on if you have understood this point let's go on to the next point so you've understood the array of symptoms that you might have in such a patient it's very important to understand what are the kind of symptoms that you might have in such a patient okay Now next point, so I told you here something called as the gag reflex. So gag reflex, what is the afferent arm and what is the efferent arm? Okay, so gag reflex, the afferent arm, the gag reflex, the afferent arm goes through the glossopharyngeal. Okay, gag reflex, the afferent arm goes through the glossopharyngeal and the efferent arm it comes through the auricular temporal okay that is how it happens so if you want to understand the loop if you want to understand the loop how does the gag reflex work okay let's try to you know delineate the loop of the gag reflex okay so mota mota if you want to write efferent is ninth efferent is that is what you can write but if you you know want to draw it more in detail just understand that let's say this is the soft palate so soft palate the sensory innervation is from the glossopharyngeal nerve so i will you know give sensory innervation here so sensory innervation it is coming through the glossopharyngeal and where will it go so glossopharyngeal it will take it to its nucleus okay so it will take it to its nucleus and the nucleus here will be the nucleus of the solitary tract the nucleus of the solitary tract or it can even go to the spinal trigeminal nucleus okay so any of the sensory nuclei so i'm writing solitary tract nucleus here so i'll just write nts to make it simple nts right now through the nts through the nts it can go to nucleus ambiguous through the nts it will go to nucleus ambiguous and nucleus ambiguous gives a motor signal right it gives a motor signal and the motor signal it comes through the vagus it comes through the vagus and then it causes constriction of pharynx it causes constriction of right so that is the loop that you have to form that is the loop that you need to form apart from that you know there is also the involvement of the trigeminal nucleus and the hypoglossal nucleus for the movements of the jaw and the tongue okay but i am not going into that detail not going into that detail okay
so how do you test for gag reflex how do you test for gag reflex you all have seen you all would have seen that ice cream stick that the doctors usually have now so that is to test for gag reflex fourth point similarly other reflex that might be of you know some significance to you that is the corneal reflex that is the corneal reflex now what is the significance of corneal reflex what is the significance of corneal reflex again you should know the afferent arm and the efferent arm so tell me one thing if you are in an opd if you are in an opd and you know the patient the examiner tells you ki there's a patient in front of you this patient sitting in front of you proper awake alive right so he says that how will you demonstrate corneal reflex in this patient okay ideally you should not ideally you should not because it is irritating to the patient there is no point in doing it unless you have some particular suspicion there is no point in testing for corneal reflex otherwise okay so this is how you are essentially doing it so what you do is you give a sensory stimulus okay it has to be you know has to be very uh, delicate you know you can't poke your finger or your thumb inside the patient okay don't do that and if it's a awake it's a you know there's no indication for such a testing you will say that corneal reflex generally we don't do it on a awake patient if patient is unconscious then you might proceed to do it but otherwise there's no need to do it and when you, this is done what happens is in a reflex the patient constricts the eye okay orbicularis oculi they contract and the patient tries to close the eye okay so it is you know you can understand why this corneal reflex what is the significance of this corneal reflex in the body okay why probably this reflex would have evolved okay so that there isn't any foreign particle going into your eye koi insect wagera hai so it does not enter your eye so anything that touches the cornea causes the orbicularis oculi to contract so how do you draw the pathway how do you draw the pathway so the pathway is very good the pathway you know it's very simple relatively nothing difficult to understand okay so this is how you are going to word it so you will first write that what is the stimulus a touch sensation on the cornea right what is the effect the contraction of the orbicularis oculi muscles causing blinking now what is the afferent it is the ophthalmic division of trigeminal right so this is called as v1 then it goes to the spinal nucleus of the trigeminal which is the sensory integrating center and then the stimulus will go to the facial motor nucleus of both sides we go to the facial motor nucleus of both sides both sides okay and then you will see that through the temporal branch okay so the orbicularis oculi is supplied by the temporal branch okay so actually technically the orbicularis oculi is supplied by two branches upper part is different lower part is different okay so temporal branch bhi ho sakta hai zygomatic branch bhi ho sakta hai depends at which level you are seeing so temporal branch of the facial nerve which is responsible for the involuntary movement of the muscles of the facial expression okay so that is uh, sorry not involuntary uh, the movement of the muscles of the facial expression right so that is you know going to be through the temporal branch of the facial nerve so afferent is essentially through ophthalmic division of trigeminal efferent you can say facial nerve that is what you require at this level for the corneal reflex okay this is another very important point and again it has clinical application when you are going to study cranial nerve testing in your neurology examination in your hutchinson for medicine and pediatrics right so thank you so much guys for watching this video these are the points that we will cover here in today's session of pinacle pg so at the end of the video i would like to tell you about the unacademy subscription so we have two subscriptions one is called the unacademy plus subscription in this you get full access to unacademy including the live and the recorded sessions from the top educators in the country okay you can participate not just in classes but also in quizzes and tests and we have a question bank which is made on the latest pattern of neat pg with the 25000 updated questions on the clinical pattern okay no restrictions on the devices you can even study on your laptop on a big screen whichever way you want okay there's no restriction on that 
and if you go with the iconic subscription you also get the notes there are some other advantages of the iconic subscription apart from unacademy which is you know very good for live learning we are also offering prep ladder where we have you know recorded sessions from some of the top faculty you know of the most important topics for neat pg ekdam concise pura ek revision rapid revision ka course bana hua hai so you have video lectures from the prep ladder team and question bank 3.0 with active guidance along with the dream notes of iconic theek hai isme both you will get notes of unacademy as well as prep ladder apart from that we have regular neat pg combats on the unacademy platform for that very important you will need an invite code theek hai combat mein part lena hai fight mein part lena hai so you will need my invite code so you can use chetanya 10 or you can use spcm all right please do use this code while enrolling and there's a scholarship there's a large scholarship pool and there are for 200 people there are special offers on scholarships for neat pg okay so this one is coming up on 10th of october 11 am another feature that we've introduced for our plus subscribers is raise a hand so if you guys can imagine that the only thing that was probably missing in an academy in terms of being interactive because we already have polls we already had live chat but we have also introduced raise a hand where you can unmute yourself and during quizzes you can ask your doubts you can give answers and you can interact during the class and have a one on one discussion with the educator okay so these are some of the offers for the iconic subscription and this is a limited time offer only available with select referral code so you guys can use my referral code chatanya10 and spcm to avail this offer for the iconic subscription which includes both an academy as well as prep ladder you can go for the one year plan you can go for the two year plan the one year plan costs 38250 and the two year plan is ideal for those who are you know in the second or third year so it's 48000 rupees for that if you are looking for longer plans we have them as well so as you all know that we are also conducting regular mock tests of ini cet neat pg and fmg along with that you can attend the special classes where i've already told you how interactive it is you now have raise a hand feature there are interactive polls and you will also get the notes of the lectures on the unacademy application itself apart from that i already mentioned a q bank that we have recently curated recently updated earlier it used to have 34000 questions now you will say that we have reduced the number of questions but we have made them clinical we've made them more high yield on the latest exam pattern so that you don't waste your time okay so you can attempt these questions this is some of our results that you can see we are running regular batches for neat pg for ini set for fmg and very soon we are starting with us mle and mbbs courses also we already have batches for first prof second prof third prof final prof and along with that because of covid we understand that a lot of your learning happened online so for that we've also introduced a very systematic clinical examinations and procedures batch so that you guys can see what are the various clinical procedures okay amazing offers right now if you go for the plus subscription for 2 years you are going to get 4 months off that's better than most people are giving right now everyone gives 1 month off with 2 years we are giving you 4 months extra if you go with the one year we're still giving you 2 months extra provided you are only using our referral codes chatanya 10 or you can use spcm right so please remember to use these referral codes while taking a subscription for iconic i have already told you the various uh, plans and the various pricing for unacademy plus we have more options available so you can go for the two year plan which will give you additional four months you can go for the one year plan which will additionally give you two months and please don't forget to use my referral code chatanya 10 you can check the detailed prices for every course by going to unacademy.com and entering this referral code all right thank you so much guys for watching this video please don't forget to hit the like button and share it with all your friends who are preparing even if they are preparing for their first year or you know they are in the first year of mbbs they will get to know how to go about certain topics so please remember to hit the like button on the video drop a comment in the comment section and subscribe to the youtube channel let's crack neat pg share it with your friends you can also download the pdf and do also remember to subscribe to the telegram channel the link will be there in the description that is let's crack neat pg and don't forget to use my referral code chetanya10 in case anybody of you is taking an unacademy subscription you will get a 10% off not only that if you are going for a plus subscription with a one year you will get 2 months free of cost with a two year subscription you will get 4 months free of cost and with iconic you get free of cost notes and lots of additional benefits thank you so much guys for watching this video wait out for the next pinnacle pg video